This is my review of the Nintendo 3DS XL. As you can see, this is the white edition that comes pre-installed with either Mario Kart 7 or Super Mario 3D Land. Straight into the design, you can see that we have two cameras here which ruin the gorgeous white matte finish that they've put on top compared to the fingerprint magnet of the DS Lite or the 3DS. Straight on the bottom here, we have a uh, power LED and the charging LED and the headphone socket, which is on the far left there, which is, you would think um, it would get in the way, but it doesn't when you're playing games. The LED pulsates when the lid is closed. On the um, right hand side here, we have the new stylus location, which is much better than having it on the back. And you have the wireless switch here. On the left hand side, as you can see, we have the volume rocker, which I do tend to accidentally knock backwards and forwards when I'm in the middle of playing a game. And you have a latch here to put on your phone charms and other such things that you would want on it. On the top, you have the cartridge slot. You have, I believe it's like a, a the wireless um, port thing, I'm not entirely sure. And you have Nintendo's proprietary uh, charger. And just in case you're not entirely sure yet, the 3DS XL does not come with a charger. It's an extra $6.99 on top of the £170 you should expect to pay for this particular edition. So, as you can see straight away, the screens are bigger. According to Nintendo, they are 90% bigger on both the top and the bottom. The chief complaint is that as a result of the bigger screens, um, the fact that they're using the same resolution as the original 3DS, you're going to see some pixelation. Um, is that true or, or not? Well, let's have a look, shall we? From this alone, you can't really tell the distinct difference between the two screen sizes, but I can tell you that it still looks a little bit jaggedy because the original 3DS had jagged edges uh, as well, so bumping the screen size up on this with the same resolution is naturally going to cause a little bit of pixelation as a result, but after the first hour, hour or so, you really won't notice it, to be honest. The problem starts to arise when you look down here specifically at the text. You can't really see it because the lights are glaring on the screen. If I hold that up for you, you can see there that the text looks quite clear there, but when you're playing it and pictures and artwork like the track maps on Mario Kart 7, they do look a bit blurry now as a result of the screen size bump, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's not really a deal breaker because like I said, after a while you, you really stop noticing or you just stop caring altogether. Another nice thing as I click the home button here is that these buttons are now tactile so you get a nice feedback when you're pressing them compared to those squidgy junky ones that were on the, the original 3DS. The thumbstick, the directional pad and the buttons are largely unchanged, I can't really tell the difference to be perfectly honest with you. You have your front facing camera here, again I wish they would just ditch these stupid cameras because no one uses them after like the first hour of unboxing your 3DS you've already used the AR cards and you've already taken a funny video and after that no one uses them, it's just it's pointless and it's stupid and it just ruins the design. How does a DS game look? Well we can have a quick look at that now. You're going to get the same problem as when you play 3DS games, except it's going to be more prominent because the resolution on the original DS here is even smaller than the 3DS one. As you can see straight away, we have black borders on both sides of the screen. So to be honest, it is, it is a lot blurrier than you would expect from the DS or the DS Lite, but it's not a deal breaker and it looks surprisingly good considering the screen size increase and the resolution stretching. The annoying thing is that you've got those black bars on either side, but you forget about those once you get into the game. The bottom screen again looks very blurry, Just it's not like pixelated blurry, it's just just like literally blurry blurry, like there's no distinct like pixelization as a result of the stretch, it just looks a bit blurry like someone's stretched it which is essentially what they've done so i have no problems playing older games here so this is pokemon soul silver and i have yet to complete the elite four battery life is another good one how does the battery life fare on this compared to the other 3ds well you're going to get about five to seven hours battery life on the xl here that's just my own um my own findings uh, with wireless turned off and the brightness setting set to low and power saving on definitely five to seven hours of just continuous gameplay when you start playing online and you're using street pass you're going to expect to knock that down an hour or an hour and a half depending on how much um, wi-fi gaming you're going to be doing second you turn the 3d on you are doubling the image output because you're producing two separate images for the 3d effect so that's going to basically half your um your battery life so you'll be getting about two three hours if you like playing with the 3d on even less if you want to play 3d with the wi-fi on playing mario kart online or something 
Uh, it sucks that the 3D drains the battery like that, especially as the 3DS's unique selling point is the 3D, and with the bigger screen it does look a lot better than on the older 3DS. Um, I find that it's a lot less taxing on the eyes because it's got a bigger screen so you're not squinting on such a small small screen. The speakers are also further apart and I feel that because of that you get a richer sound because there's a wider um, area for the sound to be produced, protruded, produced, one of those words too. And it sounds better, especially when you select the surround option in some games. It sounds really, really good. Overall, the 3DS is a fantastic upgrade from the original 3DS. If you have said original 3DS and you're thinking of getting this, I would say it's definitely worth the upgrade, even if only for the extended battery life. The downsides are the stupid cameras, which I wish they'll get rid of. The the back the back battery housing cover does get a bit wobbly because there's only two screws on the top here and on the bottom, but those are the only downsides. If you don't have a 3DS or a 3DS XL, I would say definitely go for this one. You may be put off by the fact that it is considerably bigger than the 3DS or a DS Lite, but it's not that much heavier and you get over the size difference after the first couple of days and it's not too heavy to put in your bag, so don't worry about that. Uh, this goes for £170 with one of the two free games I mentioned originally, and I would say go out and buy it right now.